what's up guys um this is very unorthodox because i'm recording with my phone for some reason my canon uh ti5 no sorry some for some reason my canon t5 is um cutting off like in the middle of me recording and it's very frustrating and it's part of the reason why it took me so long to um record another video in two months because i um i just get frustrated and i stop doing whatever i'm supposed to be doing when things don't work out so um this is an update video <laughs> And um, I'm making an update video because I don't want to create like a, a lock update video or a self-love video because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to ramble about life. So I'm going to make a life video and then I will um, make those other videos and just make sure I'll focus on the topic at hand. So um, some things that have been going on in my life. One is that... My grandmother passed away and um, it was a really a struggle to deal with it still is but like towards the end of her life it was um, hard because she was uh, kind of stubborn and not doing the things that she was supposed to be doing as far as making sure she ate like actually eating and um, um, sleeping with her sleep pad machine which contributed to her um, being able to breathe while she slept because she had an issue with breathing and it was just a lot going on um, and she passed away but I'm okay I think about her a lot um, and it's interesting because I realized and I learned from her and from other family members that um, she had like social anxiety and I didn't realize that but um it's something that I deal with sometimes too. I had to like really work on myself to get over it. But um that's something to to think about. Like she's not my my biological grandmother. Um she's like my step grandmother, but still like she treated me like her grandchild and I appreciate that too cuz she didn't have to do that. Um but I miss her. So, the other thing that I've been dealing with is yeast infections. And I know that's not glamorous or um, something that everybody wants to talk about. But, um, believe it or not, it's something that a lot of women go through. Like, um, like 80-70% of the whole world deal with yeast infections. And um, m mostly women deal with the actual yeast infection. But... Yeast infection is a by uh, symptom of candy candidiasis, which means an overgrowth of a bad bacteria that's in our body. Now, it's 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 supposed to be in there, but when it overgrows, that means that it becomes in you be, you become infected with it because it is it is a bad bacteria. But um, anyway, I've been trying to beat that with so many different methods. Um, one is my diet, trying to eat less sugar. So I like, I bought this, this program and I kind of fell off of it. Why am I in the middle? I mean, on the edge, I'm trying to keep the, the room divider in the video because like I got crap behind it. Um, but yeah, I tried to stick with this diet it was like a vegetarian, I mean, a vegan diet that like would starve the the bacteria candida and then I would take antifungals and all this other stuff and I think it might have been working but with my grandmother passing and going to like my family members house and eating whatever um but I, I was really trying to to stick to like a, a vegetable diet something that I, I got like the food that wasn't like high in salt or fat or um not fat like high in sugar like when desserts came out, I was struggling, <laughs> but um, um, I've moved on to something else because I broke the diet and 
um, I wanted to get back on it, but then it was hard for me to stick to it. So I got something else called um, boric acid caps um, suppositories. And um, stay tuned because I'm going to be talking more about those in another video. But I'm on the program for it right now. And actually, I like I researched it and found out um, that they work to get rid of yeast infections. And then I talked to my doctor and he told me to get that too. So I was like, good. So I'm using it. And I will talk more about that in another video. Um, also, my friend friend told me that she wants to do a parasite cleanse and it's funny because that's another thing that most of us have parasites but like nobody wants to believe that you have creepy crawlies growing inside of you and eating all your food and making you tired and sleepy and um sick and making you fat and all of that stuff but we do if you eat pork yeah you got them because um parasites they they grow in pork um, it, even if you are a vegetarian and you eat, um, fruit and vegetables, like, especially if they're imported from other countries, not, not even always from other countries, but from this country, like, whatever, like, we all should do, like, a parasite cleanse maybe once a month or once every three months, something like that, just as maintenance, because, um, the things that we eat, you don't know what's on it, you, you can't control how you get your food and even if you wash it sometimes there's residuals so um i'm gonna do that i researched it and i found that um papaya seeds like um papaya seed powder or crushed papaya seeds kill the parasites and then you take like bentonite clay and that gets the dead parasites out of you so some people have actual worms that you can see and then some people have um like microscopic worms that you can't see but they still do the same thing to your body. So I'm doing that soon, like definitely this summer. Speaking of summer, um, I'm trying to have fun this summer. Uh, I was hanging out with some friends, um, mostly guys. Well, the, the friends that I was hanging out with were guys. And I went skateboarding with them. And that was like mad fun, even though they left me. And I was like left to figure out how to skateboard myself um i enjoyed it and i want to get my own skateboard and learn myself even though i'm 27 <laughs> and the time has has passed I, I won't believe that the time has actually passed for me to learn how to skateboard but i do want to get a bike too so that i can um just be out here riding my bike skateboarding going to skate parks like definitely gonna wear some knee pads and some elbow pads because i'm not trying to be walking around looking like a scraped up child <laughs> even though my knees already beat up because I'm all I've always been a tomboy um is that how you say a tomboy yeah I've always been a tomboy like I will always want to do what the guys are doing like play their games their sports and stuff like that because it just seemed more fun like has anybody any other girls felt that way when they were young um I still am a tomboy because, like, there was a period where I wanted to look cute and dolled up and stuff, wear makeup and stuff, but honestly, like, I don't have any makeup on. I have Vaseline on my lips. As you see, my eyebrows probably need to be done. I did trim them a little bit, but I'm not, like, really a, a cute, cute type of girl. That's just not me. Um, I may do it on occasion, but, like, my mind be going. That's what, um, that's what excites me. Like the things that I put my mind to and I actually do that come into fruition in my life or like my hobbies that I like to do, like my website and my, um, my self-love, um, mission that I'm going on right now. Those are the things that get top priority. Makeup. That's just another 20 minutes in my morning that is taken away from me working on my business or getting ready for work to get on time, to be on time for work. So um, I might do a little bit of mascara, but like on a, on a normal day, I ain't wearing no mascara. I ain't putting on no eyelashes. I ain't putting on no lipstick. I ain't doing my eyebrows. Like 
long as my face ain't got hair on it. <laughs> Sometimes it does. <laughs> but um, as long as I look presentable to the world, to myself, <laughs> I'm good. Like, I be needing to focus on the task at hand. Like, I put, I put these earrings on for y'all. <laughs> if I wasn't doing the video, I probably wouldn't have them on. Um, maybe if I go out, I might have put the earrings on. Matter of fact, y'all like my hat? 90s. I got these from, I got this hat from Forever 21 um, on Friday. Love it. And um, it's cool because I think I have three or four now um, dad hats or baseball caps. And, um, they're a saver, a lifesaver for, like, when my, when the front of my hair is just, like, extra fuzzy. Um, and it gets so fuzzy so fast. It's annoying. But, um, I can wear my hats to work, which is helpful. I need a new job, by the way. I need more money. That's something that, something else that's been bothering me. So... That's what I'm going to do this summer, too. Get a new job. Have fun. Continue being a tomboy and loving my tomboyness. Get a new job. Make more money. Move out. <laughs> and just work on getting my things in order. So another thing I did this summer, which was so awesome, was go to the Roots Picnic in Philly. Um, Solange was there. And... You know, I had to go. My friends were supposed to go with me, but they dropped out. And I went by myself. <laughs> I really wanted to see Solange, so. So, um, I was like, I'm still going. My sister did, like, um, volunteer work to get a ticket, get a free ticket for the salon, well, the Roots Picnic. And um, she ended up going on vacation with my family. I had stayed home. And she was like, you know what? I'm going to give you the ticket because I can't go anyway. So you can go. So I went. I'm going to put a couple clips in the video so you can see a little bit of Solange. But it was awesome. She did most of her songs on the album, um, A Seat at the Table. And um, I was just jamming out because I, when I'm at work, I just listen to music. Um, my, work, my work is really monotonous. And so um, I listen to her album and then after the concert like I listened to the album again and I listened to a little bit of Beyonce I'm like oh that, that makes me think of Beyonce and then I was like that makes me think of um, Destiny's Child so, I listened to, like, the whole um, Destiny Fulfilled album. That was my jaw. Like, I really loved that album. Um, that song, Free. And Bad Habit. And Love. Those are my songs. Yes. That was when I was, like, in high school, I think. I think. Um, before I graduated. Yeah, um, but I enjoyed it. It was lovely. What's your favorite salon song off of the, um, uh, A Seat at the Table? Leave it below. Uh, my favorite, let's see, where do we go from here? I like that song. And... Obviously, I like Cranes in the Sky because it's about, um, I feel like it's about getting your life and just figuring out what makes you happy and um, doing it. Like trying different things and, and seeing what in life will do it for you. But sometimes you have to learn um, through experience and that's like my life, period. So... I, but I like uh, most of her songs on the album. Don't Touch My Hair, uh, Mad, like a lot of the songs. 
And then, um, like listening to Solange reminded me of listening to, like, just all the songs from back in the day. Like, I used to listen to Solange when she was out, like, with that, that song, Tony. That was a cool song. I used to like it back in the day. And my other jam was Sandcastles. I really, like, I vibed with that song. Baby, I know you do that to all the girls. You know that I'm so fragile. Ooh, 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 ooh. Baby, 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 don't blow me away. Yes, I felt like I was being blown away by guys in my life. But I'm getting stronger. For instance, um, you ever had like a breakup with a person that you wasn't really in a relationship with? excuse me, it's hot, <laughs> and um, I closed my window because they was out there screaming and the kids was playing and stuff, um, but I kind of went through that recently, and it was, it was, it was okay, like, I felt okay about it because it was a mutual thing, um, the whole thing was mutual, I caught feelings a little bit, we weren't dating, but we were just, like, chilling, and, um, it got to a point where enough was enough and I wasn't really feeling it no more and he wasn't feeling it anymore. So we just like was serious about not seeing each other no more. And, um, then I just found out that he started talking to somebody else and I felt some type of way about it uh I mean I started talking to somebody else too but you know when you are used to being with around this person and used to being that one and then you're not that one anymore like even you know you're not in a relationship it's like you still kind of together a little bit and people see you together and people know y'all got this thing like your friends and their friends know and now it's just like nope no more it's over moving on with life <laughs> so I'm just I found that out yesterday and I'm moving on trying to it's a little difficult but I, 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 I get to it I got it I got this it was a self-love decision and um for both of us more for me because I felt like I was the one um, not, I just, I just didn't like the situation. We were friends, but I didn't like how things were going down. So it's cool now. I'm good. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> Listening to Solange also made me think about um, like songs from the early 2000s. I'm 27, so I graduated. I graduated in 2008 from high school. <clears throat> so, songs like artists like Kanye, like old Kanye, The Dream. Kanye was he came out like when I was in middle school though. Um, the Dream, um, Sierra, I think some Bow Wow's, nothing, a little bit of Bow Wow. Chris Brown came out. When I was in high school, Neil came out when I was in high school. Um, Jeezy. Oh, yeah, Jeezy was at the um, Roots Painting, too. I saw some of him. Um, Louis, Lil Wayne, uh, Young Money, period. Like, Drake, he was popping when I first came out. Or when I first, yeah, came out of high school. And it was just, like, a whole different era. I feel old because, you know, like, it's a whole group of artists that's out now that's not even connected to the, the group that we, if you if you vibe with me, what, what I'm talking about, um, 08, 2000, 2008 to, let's say 2004, that's when I came to high school, to 2008, 2009, 2010, um, then you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> And um, it's funny because when I was at the Roots Picnic, the DJ was like, if you're 25 and older, then you know this song. And what he played? I forget what he played, but it was like, yo, I'm 25 and older. 
I know this music. Like, it's music that I know that kids kids coming up now don't know. Even kids that just graduated don't know or don't remember or they don't vibe with it like I do. Um, and it's funny because as a substitute teacher and as a teacher, like I I um, connected with my kids, my students, um, and the students I subbed for, but it was like we like because I'm because I look so young, um, but and and I am like kind of young compared to them. I'm only um like ten years older than them, but um, we just didn't connect on the music. Like, the music that they listen to, I was like, mm, okay. I mean, look, now a little bit more I listen to it. But, um, like, some of the, the music that I'm like, yeah, that's my genre. Um, they don't listen to it. They don't know it. Like, like I know it. Or, like, we know it. You know, me and you. <laughs> like, Kanye. Um, my favorite Kanye line. What's your favorite Kanye line from, like, college dropout graduation albums um my my favorite is from good life when he was like 50 said go ahead sit your style up and if they hate then let them hate the watch and watch the money pile up remember that yo <laughs> with t-pain that was my song um and and can't tell me nothing i love them i don't know why but he was like but homie this is not what he say old folks talking about back in my day but homie this is my day class started two hours ago oh am i late no i already graduated and you can live through anything if maggie made it they say I talk with so much emphasis. <laughs> Ooh, they so sensitive. They'll never fix your lips like collagen and say something that you're going to end up apologizing. Let me know if it's a problem then. <laughs> All right, man, holiday. <laughs> la, 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 wait till I get my money right. La, 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 then you can't tell me nothing, right? Excuse me, is you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Yo, that takes me back. All the way back. Let me know if you feel me. Drop your favorite Kanye line down below. I want to hear it. I want to read it. <laughs> Vibe with me. <laughs> um, But yeah, um, the other thing I've been working on is my business. Um, and my website, my Facebook, um, group is popping. My Facebook group is popping. You should join it. It is H&J Self Love Club on Facebook. Join it because I put up a post like every day, almost like every weekday. And, um, like I do Word of the Week, Affirmation Wednesday, and some other some other inspirational uh, quotes and elaborations that I um, I share with the group just to get you thinking and to get you um, like thinking positively. What can I do in my life to have a good day or to, you know, take that one step closer to my goal or my dream or like maintain my uh, mentality so that I'm um, uh, taking my life a step higher. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm all about, personal development, having fun, like genuinely being yourself and um, wanting the best for yourself and loving yourself, like learning about who you are and actually um, improving yourself so that you can be the best you possible every day. Um, I have I wrote two articles. One is my journey to self love, and the other is what is self love. Now I'm doing this series. It's a five part series, so I have three more articles to write in that series. And I um, want you guys to read it. I spent a lot of time on these articles and um, just put a lot of myself into it because it's mine. Like 
there are a bunch of articles about self-love on the internet but I wanted to stand out because and tell my story like my definition why I chose to look at self-love this way instead of um you know the conventional way or the way everybody else is talking about um because I believe self-love is more or less um listening to yourself your inner self and not relying on the opinions of other people I think that we should try to listen to what we think first and this is coming from me as an introvert as a self-conscious woman um always been self-conscious ever since elementary school like actually all my life um about wondering what other people would think of me and I want to like myself because I didn't like myself because if I if people other people didn't like me then I didn't like me if other people were mad at me I was wondering how what I need to do to change about myself to fix that but people don't always not like you for like valid reasons <laughs> they don't like you sometimes because they loving themselves or they think that what they are doing in life or or they want you to just jump on board with what they're doing which isn't always best for me or for you um so go over to my website the link is down below for you to um read those articles also i have um uh kind of like a subscription for you guys to sign up for uh it's called hmj self is hmj love notes and this is where i send you like a really easy task to apply um, for two weeks and also I um, send you a song like so all of this is in one email I send it out every two weeks um, I thought it would be really interesting to learn different ways to love yourself and then apply it one by one because it's a lot out there that you can do to love yourself I mean um, it's a lot that you can think of it's a lot that you can research but it's easier if you just take it one at a time because it can be daunting um, trying to apply everything at once um so sign up for that the link is down below and also the have i have a download it's called recognize consider and react to your inner voice and this just gives you a scenario of um a situation that you may be in if you're asked a question what do you do um as far as formulating an opinion because that my issue was I had a problem um, formulating opinions like I would usually just sit in a group and not really know what to say really um, and it's embarrassing it's annoying because you see other people are engaging they have opinions they care about what they think they think that they what they think in their opinion is important enough to share but me I'm just sitting there like I don't know I need to like f formulate something to say like I need to form an opinion about stuff so I, I know that I'm not the only one out here that feels that way so that's why I made the questionnaire for um for you guys to benefit from and it's all you it's a section on um considering no, it's a section on first recognizing your thoughts, what your opinion is, what your um, initial reaction is to the question in your answers, in your head. Then consider what do you think? Is what you think rational? Do you know what you think? Um, and then react, which means do something about it. Either um, share what you think with other people, write about it, um, share it on social media, um, whatever or reject it if it's not rational so go and check those out thank you for watching my updates subscribe and i will see you soon bye